should you take the CompTIA Security Plus certification or the CompTIA A Plus certification? What's the difference between the Security Plus and the A Plus? What jobs will they prepare me for? And which one is better? So I've always wanted to make a video comparing the CompTIA Security Plus and the CompTIA A Plus, which are arguably two of CompTIA's most popular certifications for entry-level cybersecurity and entry-level IT jobs. Now I have made videos on both these certifications individually, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll link both of those videos down in my description below. Alright, so let's start off with very, very high level. What is the CompTIA Security Plus versus the CompTIA A Plus? So while there's some overlap in the jobs that both of these certifications will prepare you for, the biggest thing I want to highlight is the fact that the CompTIA Security Plus certification focuses more heavily on the information security portion of IT compared to the CompTIA A Plus, which is primarily focused on IT. Typically, when compared against each other, the CompTIA A Plus tends to be a more junior or entry level certification compared to the Security Plus, which is another reason why there are many people who start off by taking their A Plus before they even take their Security Plus, and they kind of take that as a foundation builder or a prerequisite before taking their Security Plus. But the Network Plus is the CompTIA certification that is recommended experience for the CompTIA Security Plus. So not only do the exams cover very different topics, they also prepare you for different types of jobs, even though again, there is some overlap. The CompTIA Security Plus certification prepares you for cybersecurity analyst roles, tier two IT support technician roles, IT support manager, business analysts, system administrators, and security administrators. While many of these are still considered entry-level roles, there are roles also listed on here that are a little bit more senior than the role that you would get with taking your CompTIA A plus certification. Now with the A plus, the jobs that you can land are specifically based on the CompTIA official website, our field service technicians, IT support managers, business analysts, data support technicians, technical support specialists, IT server technicians, IT specialists, and help desk. So as you can see, the jobs that the A plus prepares you for are more so leaning towards the IT help desk side compared to the security plus, which can also prepare you for those roles, but it can also prepare you specifically for cybersecurity roles. So one of the biggest questions to ask yourself when deciding which certification to get is whether or not you want to start off your career in IT or in cybersecurity. If you're interested in both, there's no harm in taking the A plus first and then the security plus. However, remember that that those are extra exam fees as well as extra time studying. Both exams don't require any prerequisites. You don't need any technical experience. You don't need any educational requirements or work experience. CompTIA only has recommended experience, but they're not required to take the exams themselves. Personally, I took my CompTIA Security Plus certification with almost no background in cybersecurity. I was working as a cybersecurity analyst for about a year and I took about three months to study for my exam. However, I do think that the Security Plus certification will go a little bit more in depth compared to the A plus certification. Personally, I think even coming from no technical background, as long as you have the right study resources, which I can link all the resources that I use in my description below, specifically the CompTIA Security Plus all-in-one textbook, practice exams, as well as a few online courses, you'll be able to study and pass the exam with those resources. But of course, this is a personal decision, so you don't have to do it the way that I did it. In fact, you can even take your A+, your Network+, and then take your Security+, Plus if you really wanted to, and have all three certifications on your resume. But of course, you always want to keep in mind the specific job that you want to go into. For example, if you want to go into Network Security, then maybe that makes sense for you. But if you're looking to go into a role like a cybersecurity analyst, then personally, I do think that the Security Plus certification makes the most sense. But one of the big things I do want to mention about these two certification exams is the fact that the Security Plus certification is one exam. You study and take that one exam, and when you pass that exam, you become CompTIA Security Plus certified. But for the A plus certification, there are two exams. These are the CompTIA A plus core one and CompTIA A plus core two exams. You have to take both of these two exams to be able to call yourself CompTIA A plus certified. This is another reason why if you're interested in going to cybersecurity, I recommend going straight for the Security Plus certification because otherwise, if you first want to get A plus certified, you have to take the two exams and both exams cost $246 per exam as of the time I'm recording this video. So that's already around $500 to take both exams for the A plus certification, while the Security Plus certification, that one exam, is less than $400. And if you wanna get the A plus and the Security Plus, 
that's a total of almost $900 for your A plus and your security plus. And I know that's a lot of money for a lot of people, especially if you're trying to break into technology, trying to break into cybersecurity. But of course, if you're looking for that foundational knowledge that the A plus provides, then it may very well be worth it for you. I don't know your exact scenario, so you're going to have to kind of decide what works best for you, as well as weighing out the costs and the pros and cons. But let's go a little bit deeper into the exam structures of both of these certifications. For the A plus certification, again, we mentioned that there are two tests that you have to take. Both of those exams have a maximum of 90 questions per exam. The types of questions include multiple choice questions, single and multiple response, as well as drag and drops and performance based questions. You'll have 90 minutes to complete each exam. And for the first exam, the A plus core one, you need to score a 675 out of 900. And on the second exam, the A plus core two, you'll need to score a 700 out of 900 to pass the exam. And now on the security plus side, the maximum number of questions for the security plus exam is also up to a maximum of 90 questions. And you'll need a score of 750 out of 900 to pass the exam. So now that we know the layouts of the exams, while the passing scoring is a little bit different for each certification, the biggest thing to note is that the A plus has two separate exams with different different scoring, while the Security Plus has one exam and you need a 750 out of 900 to pass. All of the exams have a maximum of 90 questions and they all have a time limit of 90 minutes per exam. The cost of the Security Plus exam is $392. At the time of recording, this is only for the exam voucher. It doesn't include any training, any courses, any exam guides any exam study guides, but I also have a few Coursera courses that I can recommend linked in my description below that are much lower cost than the CompTIA study material. In terms of the material on the certifications themselves, for the Security Plus, you'll learn general cybersecurity concepts, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, security architecture, security operations, and security program management and oversight, which is, as you can tell, very, very optimized and niche specifically for cybersecurity roles. Now on the A plus certification side, the exam will cover hardware, operating systems, software troubleshooting, networking, mobile devices, virtualization and cloud computing, as well as operational procedures and security. So there is a section on the A plus that covers cybersecurity, but again, it's nowhere near as broad and hands-on as the CompTIA Security Plus certification. Both of these certifications are highly sought after by employers and it really depends on what role you're trying to go into. So if you're looking to go into help desk, looking to go into IT, maybe sysadmin roles or even networking roles or any kind of networking or troubleshooting roles, then the A plus probably is a really good starting point for you. But if you're looking to go into cybersecurity specifically for an entry level role, then I highly recommend starting with the Security Plus certification. Again, it's totally up to you which order that you take. This is only one person's opinion, but both certifications will provide you the background, the foundational knowledge that you'll need to break into those entry level roles when you do start applying to jobs and interviewing. Entry level certifications, especially in IT and cybersecurity, are going to be on most job listings preferred and required qualifications. So if you don't have a certification and you're looking for an entry level role in IT, tech, or cybersecurity, then I do think having at least one of these certifications will put you a cut above the other candidates that are also applying for those entry level roles. It's just another credential that sets you apart from other candidates when the hiring manager is looking through resumes. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any other questions in the comments below, anything that you wanna compare and contrast between the CompTIA Security Plus and the CompTIA A Plus. Both are awesome certifications and it really just depends on what you're looking to do and what roles that you want to go into. Thank you again so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other video topics that you would like to see in the future. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!